Today we'll be making this visual. Alright, today we've got this network to make our visual. As you can see, we've got a pretty small audio analysis part and also a pretty small visual part, so this will be quite easy to follow. As usual, I will delete my entire network and start from scratch. First thing we'll need is an audio file in, uh, then a device out so you can hear what you're doing. Uh, we're going to disable this one. You can choose any song you want right here. Then we'll need a spectrum um, uh, analyze lag oh. a math and then we're going to change the range to 0 0.1 and 0 0.24 that's it for the audio analysis now we can start with our visual First press tab and search for the circle. Change the resolution to 1280 by 720. Now press this button and ass uh, wait. assign this value by pressing chop reference. Now our circle is moving. Now press Alt N to make a null. We're going to place this all the way over here and insert a RGB key. Now the background will be black. Um, and now we can press this display button and now we can see it um, over here. Now we don't want this to be here all the time. That's why we're pressing this split panel. And I can choose a uh, top viewer here. Right click here, go to display and deselect backdrop, backdrop tops. By this we have uh, like a nice monitor to the left. And we can see what we're doing. Now we can go on to the more fun part. Um, we're going to create our visual from this circle. So insert a limit uh, and go to quantize and change this to round. Then change this to 0 0.026 and minus 0 0.78. Um, the, what this does is basically makes it pixelated and we're going to use that later. Next up, insert a corner pin change this to 0 0.1 and this to 0 0.9 this stretches it out like this uh oh wait yeah it does some funny stuff uh next we're going to need a difference we're going to take the corner as an input and the limit so only the stretched part becomes visible next a displace and Displace it with the corner pin and change the displace weight to 0 0.014 on both channels. And then we get this like slightly double and slightly glitchy um, image. Next, insert an edge and change the sample step to 1.5. Move this a bit over there. Then a uh, composite then a ramp change this resolution to 1280 by 720 and choose two colors you like uh, I think I chose blue and purple ish and then connect this up and make sure this is set to multiply and now we have yeah this visual we can move this a bit further in to make the difference on the left and the right bigger. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're going to insert a displace and change this to 0 0.4. Then insert a noise, uh, turn monochrome off, change the resolution to 1280 by 720. Um, and we're going to animate it by um, typing apps time dot seconds divided by 20 in this field and now you can see the noise moves really slow um, also change the period to 4 and insert this here now you can see we've almost got our final visual um, 
The only thing we need is a feedback loop to make it more smooth and pretty. To do that, insert a feedback a blur a level and insert a composite. Connect these all up. And now change the operation to multiply on the composite and drag this on top of the feedback. You can see it does funny stuff. Um, we need gonna need a keyboard in chop and reference this to the pulse so we can reset our feedback loop. Change this filter size to six and the level to uh, 0.8. Now you can play around with this feedback loop. You can change the level if you increase it. Um, the amount of the feedback loop will be increased. Uh, you can increase the blur filter size, um, make all kinds of cool stuff with it. If this tutorial was helpful to you, please consider leaving a like.